Hi everyone, so today uh, I'll be trying out Diane Press's new uh, gingerbread greenhouse stamp and die set that they brought to their site, which is mydiamondpress.com. And I like to make that very clear because I know a lot of times people associate them with HSN, but these are for the, the Diamond Press site. And um, I'll have that link in the description box, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And with Diamond Press, it's really an affiliate discount code, so if you use the code VCDP, you will get 10% off. Your purchases and um, just pop that in the um, code at the end there so they did send these items free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own so I showed you guys this in like the first video where I showed the new items that they brought to the site um, again keep an eye out for any other uh, promos or bundles and those kind of things they'll have and I'll have a link in the description box this is adorable <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to get right to this look how cute oh okay good so I had seen this you know in the first video I was like oh so then you have this and you layer it over this but not thinking that uh, first what you would do is stamp like the little candies or like your little flowers in there or your little plants and then you have that beautiful outline that goes over on top this is really unique super cute then we have our little gingerbread man of course you can use it with other gingerbread you know um, stamps and dies that you might have I know I have some from previous years from um, die and press that I can pop on there really cute uh, just mix and match them that way we have sweet Christmas wishes for the example on this one with the little candies oh my gosh you guys so we have the little banners um, you can mix them and match those up and we'll look at the sentiments in just a moment and then here we have um, the little candies oh I love that are they all at once perfect so you do the you know the greenery or the stems and stuff and then you just pop on your little um, peppermints and things candy cane stripe we have the cute little candies that also you can stamp and then add whatever colors you want uh, with that. A little tree. It looks like a little um, cookie. And of course your gingerbread man, your gumdrops. Oh my goodness. So cute. So let's take a look at the stamps. And look how big that gumdrop is. And then it layers over like with that one. So you're like a little couple of gumdrops. Then the little candy swirls. And different ones. You can layer them up look at that and then the little ends of the candy there we have the gingerbread man with um his little like um details separate the tree also with separate detail the candy canes with the striping and then again like the little plant there oh and what you do with this okay since so once you stamp that at once i was just going to say well i was thinking it might be a little difficult to get the color on if it's all you know at once but those are all separate so this stamps all at once and then these guys are separate so you can color them however without having to be careful of missing or hitting a certain area perfect uh let's see and then the dice so it makes a little greenhouse which is so cute that is like three and three quarters by like four inches wide the die itself so it's gonna be a little bit smaller than that the actual uh, die cut and then of course the dice for all those different pieces so we're just going to get to it. I'm going to grab some paper and some inks and I'll be right back. Okay, so just to get started, I already mounted just a piece of paper. It's like a two size, like four and a quarter by five and a half, just to make sure I would have enough for my little die. And I grabbed a uh, ink set here. And basically we're going to design our little stuff to be in this area, but I think the leaves themselves will kind of give you that info, right? So like, let's say this was here, you know, so you can kind of see just about where to have some extra for the die cut and so I'm going to stamp this guy first and again just keeping an eye for where you know everything might be somewhere in there Let's get some green ink. This is a very light green. I was going to go kind of pastels, like why not? But if you want to, you can mix colors of green. Like when I do this, you can also bring in like a darker green and add some of that too. If you want a variation of color. Trying to only push down those areas so I don't get all that extra green everywhere. Pretty good. I think I missed the very tip of this guy there. All right, so there's our greenery. I'm going to go wash this off. I'll be right back. So cute. So if you look at the little image, they're showing you um, little gumdrops in here. So I'll position those guys. So like this one. 
I'm just gonna be like right in here and I'm just looking at how the that's like tipped and where this one goes you know just to, for the placement that looks about right and then this guy over here again can be done in two different steps because unless you want to ink it up very very carefully so I will put this here and I'm just looking at the image and they have this kind of like there so we can do those and then maybe some of the um, little circular ones while we're at it so let's put this little guy like here so I can get a couple of those things done they're far enough from each other that I don't have to like worry about where I'm placing my um, ink pad and then this is the larger ones and then we have little ones down here so this other guy I'm gonna put like here okay I'll pick those guys up and I'll pick some inks and I'll be right back okay guys so I've chosen my colors here and I'll just again you don't have to do them all at once like maybe I'll do the red and like this one purple over here so cute and I think I'm leaving them like that because basically gumdrops look a little sugary so like I'm just gonna to leave that Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna grab, grab a paper a... towel so I can clean this off in between um, using the different uh, stamps and things okay and since I removed those anyway I'm gonna pop this little guy on and I probably should have just gone ahead and done, done with the red on this other one too because I want the red there but I'm popping that right next to that little kind of stylized gumball Oop, gumdrop and I let that come off my plate, so let's put that back on. Okay. And let's see. Oh, that's cute. They're blue and light blue on one of them, so why don't we try that? So I'll do this light blue, which is very light. I'm going to keep it out here. And then I'm going to do another one that's red and pink, so again, the red. And let's do like an orangey color with this one. And I am taking my time, so let me... <laughs> that one's super juicy again much brighter I'm gonna go do that one again that guy cute oh my goodness okay I'm gonna clean these guys off and remove them and then uh, I'll place the next ones and we'll uh, talk about that because okay. this is the one that has like a little wonky kind of like swirl I'll take the next one and get it going and basically splitting the difference between what we just did I'm just eyeballing where that might be that looks pretty good right there and then like I'll place this one back and the partner for that guy is over here on this other sheet and so I'm just gonna again <laughs> put it where the other one wasn't right about there ish I would say um, and then I mean if you want to place the other little guys like we have uh, the candy canes that might be a good thing to put on here so let's go ahead and do that um, we have a solid candy cane then we have the stripe now you know I'm just trying to think like do I need to put this one maybe just that guy I think that just the stripy one will give the illusion of what I want to do anyway. And this guy's kind of turned up this way. And if you look at the little images, you can see that maybe you want to place them there. And I'm just referencing this or place them here, wherever it is. So there, let's put that guy there. So cute. Again, I'll do these in red, but if you want to do more candy colors, you know, that, you know what? Actually, this larger one looks like it goes over here. And then this smaller one goes here. See, there are two smaller ones and then that one larger one. And you can place them wherever. Maybe there and there. Okay, I'm going to get a different color red than what I used earlier, so that way that makes a difference there. <laughs> Put that guy. And then I'll stamp these guys together. But let me get a different red. I'll be right back. Okay, so to finish off these little guys on the top, um, on this one, I'm going to use like a pink. 
And then a darker blue for this one. And I'm just using all the different colors here. Let's place that and that. Oh my goodness, how cute. I miss this little middle one right here. Right there. There it is. Okay, I'm going to clean these off, although I can leave them there. And then a brighter red that's going to be my candy canes here. So let me just put this to the side. Like I said, I think I'm just going to leave them. Unless you want to accent that with like a pink or a different color. It's White isn't really going to show up, even if I use it. So, And then we have our little greenhouse that's going to go on top of it. So for me, just the image giving a feel of that being there. Look at that, so cute. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish off with a few of the smaller um, little treats. There's one here, one there, and one down here. So in this area, just like I did these larger ones, and I'll be back. Okay guys, oh look how cute that little swirly one is right here. <laughs> you know, not when you just interlock it, so when you go to put this one down, just put it obviously opposite from the one that was on there before. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and we have a little more stamping to do. Okay, so here I'm going to just place down a couple things. I'm gonna make a little gingerbread man and I'm going to stamp him on this paper and then I'm gonna do like a little Christmas tree that looks like a sugar cookie, right? So a little bit brown, a little tan color on that one. And I'm going to flood it with a light green icing. <laughs> And then this little guy, um, again, I mean, you can just stamp this on white paper. I just, I'm going for it on different colors. So again, like a lighter green, and then I'll come in with a darker green on the uh, accents there. Let's see, here's my lighter green, and then I need the brown. Let me grab that in just a minute, but. It might look a little funky because the background is beige, but there we go little green cookie and then again I'll top that with a darker brown where did I put my there we go I'm sorry a green so I'll take this little guy and I'll do the same thing with the gingerbread man just uh, putting a little tan brownish vibe on his and then topping him off with a darker probably black just to get everything done actually in this uh, natural or neutral set there's a lighter kind of tan color and then the darker brown that would work too since we're using craft card stock but either way whatever two colors of brown I would like to choose you have this little guy Ooh, little tree oh that is so cute okay I'll do the same thing with the gingerbread man okay guys so let's get these guys cut out and then we'll talk about sentiments and stuff like that so we have this piece and again, you're just kind of lining it up, you know, wherever you might like for that to be. Uh, right about there, maybe a little higher up. About there will be good. So we would tape that down. Oh, it doesn't move. We'll run this through. And then these little guys. I think it's really cute that you can cut the gumdrops too. That's adorable. Um, I can see pretty well in there, and then again, he's in craft cardstock, so even if he's a little bit crooked, it'll still look like a little cookie that looks pretty good, but that looks pretty good already, so I'm just going to stick that down. Same thing with the tree, and then this guy, I'm just going to run through, just like this, through some nice, good quality black paper, okay? Because this will give us that uh, greenhouse look, and I'll be right back. See how this guy cuts, oh my goodness, so intricate, oh, that is adorable. <gasps> Look, it just all falls out. So good. Okay, so I'm going to clean this little guy out. I mean, you guys, I can't even wait to see. How cute. Your little greenhouse. I'll okay, be so right back. pieces. We have our little guys. I have a standard A2 size card base here. And I just grabbed from my um, stash here the largest scalloped rectangle that um, Diane Press has. And... Again, these are now available on their site in sets like this. So you can get like the straight rectangles, the scalloped, you know, ovals, scalloped ovals, circles, scalloped circles, square, scalloped square, and all those kinds of fun things. 
um, which is really awesome because whenever I use these, people always ask, where did you get those? So um, Diane Press has them on their site now. And so I'm going to cut this just because, you know, with the whole gingerbread thing, I mean, how cute is a scallop border? So I'm going to run this through right quick and I'll be right back. So I'm simply just going to pop this onto my card base and I think I'll pop up my little um, greenhouse. So I'm going to glue it down this way. Let me see. It could go in this direction too. I was going to go this way with it. So but whichever way you'd like to pop that on. And with this pattern, it doesn't super matter. I could change my mind if I wanted to. It does look like the star's going the other way, though. Okay, so that guy. Again, I'm going to do mine this way. And then these two, I'm just going to glue together. And this is delicate here, so um, maybe these little spots where I can put a little glue. But mostly, I'm going to put glue on the back of my hand and just pat this into it, really along the edges. It's going to stick down really nicely. And then I'll bring it over here. Just pop that on perfectly. And hold that down. Okay, I'll be right back. So just been playing with this a little bit. I think I'm going to do something like this. And I think I'm just going to put the word sweet on here. But to make it nice and sturdy, I'm just going to run it through a few times. So... Uh, maybe some red paper, something really pops. So I'm going to run it through a few times and then we'll layer those together. But for now, this is what I'm going to do with this. So let me just stick this little guy down. You can do a whole forest of Christmas cookie trees. That'd be so cute. I'm putting that guy there. Putting this little guy over here off the edge. And on the back, I already have a ton of, um dimensional adhesive and again this kind of thing what I do is I just cut up I use every single bit of my dimensionals and just uh, so you're aware Dying Press also has these guys on their site the little circles but anyway I just cut everything up <laughs> so I use every bit of it um, so I have that guy there and I'm just gonna put it pretty much center so cute okay let me run this through a couple times or a few times and then we're gonna layer that up and then just pat it there okay. Cute. Okay. This back over here. And I'm just going to glue these guys together. Again, glue on the back of the hand. Easiest. And I'm not drop shotting them. I'm just trying to get the thickness from these. So just a little bit. Glue, glue, glue. And I'll start with like the S. Kind of pinch that down. And work my way across so that everything is nice and neat. And then I'll do the same thing with this guy. Just glue, 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 and top it on here. And this is just what I wanted. I wanted the word sweet out here. And now we have all the different um, little you know, candy cane wishes. Be jolly, obviously, these guys cut with the banner. Um, so you can have like sweet holiday, sweet Christmas wishes. Um, I'm going to just put the word sweet out here. And then on the inside, you can stamp, you know, one of the um, sentiments too. Be really cute. So let's see. I guess I'll put. And I wanted it hanging off the side, so I'm going to leave it hanging off. That's kind of why I was like, getting that thickness to it, so it would be a little sturdy. You can kind of hold its own there. Okay, I'm going to hold that down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a sweet little card. Totally unexpected. Something just very different from uh, Diamond Press. And I mean, how cute is that? Love that style. Um, thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending these items for review. I'll have images coming up for you guys. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.